What's going on everybody? So I'm back in the video. Hope everyone's having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a brand new lock screen widget, which allows you to pin your favorite playlist, album, and stations on your lock screen. So huge credits to Vdent for developing this application. So it is currently in beta. It was just released yesterday. So obviously there are going to be a couple bugs that you may experience. So make sure you guys do follow him on Twitter. He creates a bunch of new uh, lock screen widgets and uh, other applications. So I'm going to leave his link down below in the description of the video. So here is a quick preview of it right here. Uh, but basically, if you do want to get it now, it is very limited since uh, it is in the beta stages. So once you do tap on this link, you are going to be greeted to the testflight.com app uh, application or website where you do need the testflight app. So basically, this testflight app allows us to try out applications that are currently in beta that are available on the app store. So um, it is completely free. So make sure you guys just go to your app store, download right now. And then once you have done that, go back to this link and you're going to be able to go to step two to where you can start testing the app. So it's going to ask you if you want to open in test flight, click on open. And then from here, you want to accept it and then click on install. So like I said earlier, uh, it is a very limited space right now. So make sure you guys download ASAP, but the developer usually does open up more space um, later on. So we're going to open up the app right here. When you do open up the app for the first time, it is only supported with Apple Music at the moment. So if we actually click on OK and allow access to our Apple Music, we can go back to his Twitter page right here. And you guys will see um, he does post some updates right here. A couple things to note about this beta. If the app doesn't show up in the widgets list at first, make sure you have that um Make sure you have it open at least once and give it a bit of time. And then he did mention that there is going to be support for Spotify because I know a lot of people use Spotify more than Apple Music now. So that is in the works and other uh, potential platforms. And then in the another beta or future beta, they're going to be able to do custom text and images. So um, he is working very hard, but like I said, it was just released yesterday. So still fairly new application. So once you are in the app, we can go to these settings right here. There isn't much just more information about the app itself, the music platform it supports. And even under here, it does say support for Spotify is in the works and it will be available in a future beta. You guys can have the widget transparency. You guys can refresh your widgets, shuffle your music, um, submit feedback if you have any issues with this so you can get it fixed ASAP. But what we want to do is go back click on this plus sign right here just widget name so you guys can put that to any uh, thing you want so i'm going to do a drake playlist so i'm going to drake or just type in drake right here and then widget content so um like i mentioned earlier um, you're able to uh, showcase your playlist station or even album um so we're gonna click on playlist and then the next thing we have here is where we actually select the playlist. So it's going to give you guys some recommended or you guys can even just go to your Apple Music. Just search up Drake right here. And we'll just tap on the first one, which is the Drake Essentials. There we have it. And then in the future, there is going to be a personalization where we can add custom images and custom text. And then as of right now, there is only two types of widget previews. So the circular and rectangular. So um, in my opinion, I like the rectangular. It looks a lot more clean. And then you want to click on add widget. So obviously, once you do tap on this widget right here, it's going to show all the songs that are currently in your album or playlist or station. So to actually add it to your lock screen, what you want to do is go to your lock screen. Obviously, you have to be on iOS 16. You want to tap and hold on to it right here. Click on customize. I'm going to remove the one I currently had previously. And what you want to do is scroll all the way down until you see the app called Lock Pod. And then from here, uh, select the uh, type of widget you want. So if you want the square one or you want the bigger rectangular widget, I want this one because it looks a lot more clean. We tap on that right there. And then from here, um, it won't automatically work because a lot of people will experience this where you actually set it and you try to tap on it right here. And it says widget not set up. Tap on a lock screen widget in editing mode to configure it. So to fix that, you want to go back right here, go to customize and actually tap on that widget right here and then select on your Drake album or whatever album you do decide to pick and then click on back, done, set as wallpaper pair and there you have it. So it's now on your lock screen right here as a custom lock screen widget shortcut. So we can tap on that. It's gonna automatically open up this app and it's gonna play the um, songs from the album right away. So um, one thing I do hope in the future that 
from the lock screen it's gonna actually gonna open up the official music app instead of the lock pod app but it's not that big of a deal because it's honestly pretty clean if you just open it from here and you're able to play all the songs from this album right here so we can scroll down play any song and it'll play automatically just like that but there you guys have it hope you guys did enjoy this video if you guys did drop a like on it hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you guys never miss a video it's basically it and i'll see you guys in the next one